on a health watch this evening, nurses aren't getting enough sleep, and in turn, it could impact patient care and safety. This is all from a new study by NYU. Our Dr. Malika Marshall is here now. Doctor, what do we do to make sure that these nurses are okay? Well, I think we need to check in with them more frequently because we know that nurses usually don't work a typical 9 to 5 right. day. They often work 12 hour shifts. They work all times of day and night. And we know that irregular hours can take a toll on your circadian rhythm. So these were researchers at NYU's College of Nursing. They surveyed more than 1,500 nurses and they found that nurses are getting on average just under seven hours of sleep the night before they work a shift. More than eight hours the night before they have the day off, but it's about an hour and a half difference between the two. And they also found that less sleep was associated with lower ratings of patient safety and quality of care. So they're saying that employers really tr need to try to limit overtime and work on schedules and also provide counseling to nurses on the importance of getting good sleep because we will all benefit from that. No question. Yeah. And, you know, this is the time of year a lot of people are hitting the slopes. And one common concern is actually frostbite. But researchers have developed now this spray that could actually stop frostbite right in its tracks. And, of course, frostbite, very dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. So frostbite occurs when cold temperatures literally freeze tissues that have low amounts of blood flow. So that's why it affects the nose and the ears and the toes and the fingers. And if not treated promptly, it can cause the tissue to die might require amputation. Um, so, and when it happens, people are often isolated, like on a mountain slope or something like that and can't get medical treatment. So these are scientists in India who developed a cold resistant spray gel that contains a blood thinner in it that actually increases blood flow to the area that's affected. Oh. And it also contains wow. some ibuprofen for pain relief. They tested it on rats and they found that the treatment healed the injury within 14 days. So now we just have to see what happens in people. Wow, but that sounds pretty incredible. The video, by the way, of the rats out on the slopes going back down. <laughs> they got really good <laughs> over amazing. time. They're more they agile. They prefer snowboarding. Just oh, do they? Oh, that's what Truth I've heard. is out. <laughs> Thank you, doctor.